How's it been in real estate over the last nearly 28 years that I've been in the business? Well, when I first started out, very few people had computers. It was all done on index cards that were in a file and, you know, keys were at door and things were very, very different. People did not give exclusive listings to agents because New York did not and still does not have a multiple listing service. We've created in the recent years a multiple listing service, but back then it was all what we call open listings. So everybody showed everybody else's listings. It was really a very interesting dynamic and it was one that was not terribly efficient, frankly. So with the advent of computers came a more civilized way of dealing in real estate where things were put on the computer and you could search for property and you knew who to contact if they had an exclusive listing on the property and you could see all the data. But in the early days we really didn't have that and a lot of things had to be committed to memory if you really wanted to be a good agent. You had to remember where the properties were, what the prices were, what the maintenances were. And those of us who were very successful tended to have good memories and I find that because I had to do that very early on and I didn't rely on a computer, <clears throat> it served me very well as I've gone through the years of real estate. Now of course, you know, there are photographs, there's virtual tours which we never had, there's a lot of potential of seeing things including a lot of history on the internet which there again pre-computers and even five or ten years ago we didn't see that much history on the internet of New York real estate because co-ops up until um, I would say the mid-2000s were not public, re public recorded sales. So the sales figures were never really known. So over the years we've seen with the internet more um, exposure, more information. It does tend to make people feel like they can kind of do it on their own, but at the end of the day it's very important to know that an agent who really knows the business can guide you in a way that unless you're in the business on a regular basis and historically you can never do for yourself. Um, that being said, you can always try it and make the decision to use an agent later or go with your gut because very often an agent will shortcut many and streamline many processes and avoid a lot of mistakes that you might make on your own. So um, it's just been a fun time to see the advances that I've gone through over the years and I feel that there are yet many more to come.